It's day 34 of 60 days of studying the past, and today we're looking at the Scopes Monkey Trial, which began on this day in 1925. Now, if you've taken a course in Western Civilization or American History, you've probably learned about this trial because it was a major conflict between science and religion. But to really understand why this trial was so significant, you need to know a little bit about what was going on in the United States in the 1920s. This was an era when many Americans were deeply concerned about what they perceived as a decline in morality. For many, this perceived decline was linked to the growing influence of big cities and the changing role of women. I mean, let's face it, the 1920s were a time of great social and political change. Women had recently won the right to vote, and many young people were rejecting the standards of the previous generation. As fundamentalist Christians saw it, the changing attitudes towards religion and science were a threat to the traditional values that had shaped American society. And that's why they supported legislation outlawing the teaching of evil. That is because they saw the theory of evolution as a dangerous idea that undermined the biblical account of creation. And nowhere was this tension between traditional values and modern ideas more evident than in a classroom. As the 1920s progressed, more and more states passed laws that outlawed the teaching of evil. And eventually this law, known as the Butler Act, made its way to the courts. The case that finally made it to the Supreme Court was a case from Tennessee involving a high school teacher named John T. Scope. Now, Scopes wasn't some radical scientist. He was just a biology teacher who tried to make his lessons more relevant to his students by using new scientific discoveries. And as part of his lesson on human origins, he taught the theory of evil. Well, a student told her father about what she had learned, and he took it upon himself to confront Scopes. And as it turned out, this guy was also a member of the Tennessee legislature, and he used his influence to have Scopes arrested. Now, the trial that followed was a media circus. Reporters from all over the country descended on the small town of Dayton, Tennessee, where the trial was being held. And they brought with them a circus atmosphere that made it difficult for the trial to be anything other than a spectacle. In the end, Scopes was found guilty and the decision was appealed. But the Tennessee Supreme Court upheld the original verdict. So, as a result of this trial, the teaching of evolution was outlawed in Tennessee. And the debate over science and religion in the public school curriculum continued for decades. Okay, click here to grab a review packet if you need help getting an A in your class and a 5 on your exam in May. And I'm glad we got to share this important moment in history with you.